So, come to Spike Island today. Have a little look at what's going on. With Fiddler's Ferry closing down, uh, the flow of water is now being stopped. Uh, just having a devastating effect on all the wildlife uh, and the boats that are all moored up down here. Um, I'm going to take a look at them in a minute as we walk around. So we'll have a little walk around and see what's happening. Not a good situation for all the geese that are down here. So you can see the new bridge there in the distance. on for you guys and you can pause and read this at your leisure hope you can see that So we'll take a photo of this as well and put it in for you. And this little lake there, see that's quite dried up as well. Usually right up to the edge there. So it's having quite a devastating effect on all the wildlife here in Spike Island and beyond. You can see the River Mersey and Runcorn over there and the lovely new bridge. So I think they're still trying to work on the plan to try and do what they can to try and get the water back. Uh, but since the power station closed down, Fiddler's Ferry, uh, that was the actual source of the water. Um, 
of where all the boats were or are the boats, are still, the boats are still actually there uh, yes I've been here many times to bring all the kids up have a walk along always have a walk around Spike Island this is a lovely walk lots of people walk the dogs up here um, it's sad not to hear all the boats usually at the uh, the ting ting of all the ropes and wires and what have you on the masts uh, but you don't seem to hear that now um, I don't know what they're going to do with the boats the boats are still there I'm sure they are owned uh, it's where they wear moors up you can actually see the beginning of it uh, when you come off the new bridge in Widnes. It is a lovely walk. And also up here we've got the Catalast Museum. It's in Widnes, right next to Spike Island. So I don't know what that was. Looks like some sort of gate or something. So they were like docks. Um, still some lock gates there. So it was a big lock. Yeah, that we can walk over the little bridge over the lock. It's just nice and peaceful and tranquil. You can see in the distance there guys, the big towers there, on the other side of the bridge, and whether you can see them or not. I'm sure you can. Uh, that is Fiddler's Ferry. She used to have eight towers. So you can just see them poking up over the bridge. Get a shot of them when we get further over. Make our way round. So it is a lovely walk. It'd be such a shame if they can't sort it out. Uh, there was a wildlife expert down here, at Spike Island. Uh, they made him aware of what was going on and what's happened. So there you go, guys. Maisie Flats, Spike Island. There's a picture of a boat there coming in to Moor in the 1900s. The boat tankers on the shore in the 1940s. And a surviving rudder from a Maisie Flat. And there's one of the wrecks in 1970. So we'll carry on and we'll walk all the way round. And come back round to where all the boats are. We'll see what's going on there. Don't go too near the bridge guys, you can walk down there and come out in the same place but you will get all the traffic noise. So we'll come round here, there's a couple of little buildings, don't know what they're for. And then back alongside the canal bit then. 
where the boats are. I'll show you that there, we just walked around, so that's where we were before. Carry on round. Well, you can hear how peaceful and quiet it is. Lovely place to bring your dogs for a walk as well. There's them two little buildings I was talking about before. I'm just sit next to the canal so I presume that there's something to do with it. Where in the past. There's obviously remnants of an old building there as well. See the mast of one of the boats there. Let's say we'll have a look at them in a minute. So, like I said, I've been coming here for a couple of years with the kids and just have a stroll round. Um I've seen on Facebook and I've seen it in the news about Spike Island and from when the power station shut down the water starts to draining away. Just such a shame. We've got remnants of something here as well. A wall that runs along there, and then over there, some sort of building over there, and then this particular part, very very thick stone laid down as a base there, and some steps going up, you can see them steps. It's very, very solid, that. Well, I'll try to find out a little bit more about that. But yeah, people... I'm trying to bring it to the forefront, save Spike Island. And... I'd like to just bring it to everyone's attention, really. It's a good cause. It's such a shame. It's 
So we've come all the way back around to the lake. You can see there. And that's usually right up to the top. So we'll go round and we'll have a look at the boats. So you'll see how much the boat is depleted when we get up down this way guys. And near all the geese there.
boat in the canal there. Um, I've took some some photos as well. Uh, I'll, you'll have seen them in the video. Um, such a shame. Uh, some of the sailing boats aren't going to be able to be moved out of here until they get some more water in there. Um, so I'm going to leave this one here. Uh, I know I haven't put any videos up for a couple of weeks, but I was away for a couple of weeks. Um, and to be honest, I've not stopped since I got back. So I've got six or seven videos uh, all ready to be edited, uh, as well as a really good one of a villa in Greece. I'll leave that for a surprise. But that was a really, really good explore. Uh, over in Rhodes in Greece so keep a look out for that one guys and I shall see you soon and I'll see you in the next one please like please subscribe and please share and I will get more content out very very soon see you next time bye